Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to the Car People in the Tune episode. The last episode, I made this a BMW E36. Oh my god, it's perfect for me. Uh, it fits my drifting style, it fits the wheel, and it feels perfect. So, yeah, I don't know if it works on controller or not. Uh, you can try it out and see if it does. So, if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. I'd recommend it. Okay, I, li I said leave a comment what car you want to see, and obviously, leave a comment on this video as well uh, if yours didn't get picked. But most voted up with six likes um, was a Mazda RX-7 so I've gone past M <laughs> shit where is that Mazda there we go Oh, okay Mazda RX-7 here we go I really want to do a Miata but yeah RX-7 okay what colour should we go for I went for yellow on my should go for white I don't know. Black could be quite cool. Let's go black. Never really made a black RX-7 before. Pretty weird. We could murder it out, make it all black. That could look pretty nice. This is your 1997 Mazda RX-7. Okay, let's go to car. And upgrade this. Uh, in terms of conversion, I kind of want to stick with the rotary. I really like the rotary. Uh, I could do a V8 swap, which is quite common in real life, so wouldn't seem out of place. But the rotary is too nice to take that out. Obviously, there's a four rotor, and I don't think that will suit the wheel at all. It'd be a bit too much power, so I'm going to stick with a standard rotary engine. Yeah, so drivetrain, I wouldn't have to change that because it's already rear-wheel drive. Okay, aspiration, single turbocharger. I might do it to be fair, the twins might just be a little bit laggy. Um, let's do it, let's just make it a single turbocharger instead of the twins. A single turbocharger seems to work for me, so I don't see why I should kind of go away from it. Uh, in terms of body kit, I'm going to leave it standard. Um, you see what, if there's a nice wing or something. And it's just the Forza wing, so I'm not going to go for that. Uh, bonnet, I'm going to leave. Okay, that's fine. So standard RX-7. You can put whatever body kit you want. Uh, it's, your, it's your decision. Uh, body kits don't really, really affect drifting, to be honest. Uh, they do affect it a little bit in terms of aerodynamics, but... In terms of when you have, let's say, 500 brake horsepower, it's not really going to affect it too much. Uh, so front, 255. And the rear, is there 275? Yeah. Let's go 275s on the rear. Okay, so that's the same. To be fair, I could go... No, let's go 295s on the rear, sorry. That's the same. It was going to be the same ratio as my E36, but I thought the RX-7, a little bit... Shorter wheelbase could be a little less easy to control, um, so I've gone for a little bit bigger in the rear. Um, will look nice murdered out. I hate picking wheels, man. I'm too picky. I'm far too picky. I take too long. I should really just go for some wheels and just pick them. But I can't do that. I can't. TE37s, what are we saying? They suit this car very nice and they're already black so it saves me going to paint them as well. well. I'm pretty lazy like that. I'll spend like two hours picking wheels and then can't be asked to go paint them. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, rim size. Should we go 18s? No, I think 17s would be fine actually. It's not. Yeah, let's go 17s. Don't want to go too big. I uh, just wanted to make it look a little bit better, not too much tyre, so 17s look 
It look like okay, to be fair. Okay, drivetrain. Everything in here is going to be race, so I'm going to go through this pretty quick. Obviously, it won't be quick because Forza is like dirt and it takes five hours to load everything, but in terms of quickness, it's pretty quick. Okay, race differential, that's my. Okay, platform and handling, what we're seeing? Brakes. We need race brakes, we need to stop the car, that might help. Uh, this race suspension is going to make it look very nice. Yeah, buddy. Nothing better than a standard RX-7, look at that. Murdered out. Shit, that looks nice. Okay. And let's do race anti robbers Yep, give me those. Okay, roll cage is it on display? It's on display from the back, but in terms of. Okay, maybe it is actually on quite a bit of display. Let's go with the roll cage. Okay, weight reduction. Race weight reduction. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that's that. So, upgrade shop. What power is it pushing? 312, the weight is 2412. Okay. Let's do race air filter, race exhaust, rotors and compressions. We want that. Okay, let's do sport rotors and compressions. Let's do race intercooler and then a race oil and cooling. There we go. So that takes us up to 437 horsepower. I think that's more than enough in this car. Pretty light car, pretty short wheelbase. I think too much power kind of push the rear wheels too much. Uh, so I'm going to jump into Silverstone and start hitting some corners. Okay, we're in the game. I can always already hear the rotary burbling by itself. Nothing better than a nice rotary. Oh my god. Okay, so let's stay with a standard tune for now. Let's see if it can slide pretty well. Uh, the gearing seems really bad. I'm doing 110 in gear 3, which is a little bit too much, I think. Uh, but, yeah, let's see how it slides. Wow. Shit me, that felt really bad. Just didn't grip at all. Okay, it's drifting, it's drifting. Yeah, this car's gonna have to have a dramatic change. <laughs> Let's say that. <laughs> so I've got enough horsepower, I've got 400 and whatever it was, I forgot now. Um, so let's try and get these back wheels sliding a little bit more. In the front, it seems like it's a bit too grippy as well. Um, so let's keep the tire pressure the same for now. Uh, the gearing is gonna have to be shortened. Let's just take it up to that just for now. Uh, let's cancel that. Okay. Alignment. Let's put the tyres on the front to minus 2.2. Say the ones rear a little bit higher this time. Let's go 2.0. Okay, let's put the car up to 7. Anti roll bars. Let's take the rear up a little bit stiffer. Okay, I don't like my springs that, that soft, so I'm going to take mine up a bit. You can keep them soft if you want to, but I like my cars a little bit stiffer, so. Yeah, there we go. Low and all the way to the lows. Okay, that seems pretty much okay. A little bit more stiffer, I guess. Um, I like mine a little bit more softer in the rear. Uh, but yeah, let's make this about half of the one above. There we go. Aero braking. I won't touch that yet. Okay, differential. Let's lock the differential. That will really help us. 100%, 100%. Okay. So in terms of the car, it should slide now. It's got a lot of camber. It's got shorter gearing. It should be fine now, but <laughs> who knows? Okay. <laughs> 
that was a lot better. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that much of a change, but I drifted so nice. That was so stable. Oh my god. I can't believe how stable that actually was. Uh, I think the gearing could go a little bit shorter. It just feels a little bit... A little bit laggy. It just feels like it's not picking up. Um, so I'm going to make the gearing just a tiny bit shorter and see if that helps. If it doesn't, um, it will have to go more power in this car, but obviously you can change gearing to make the tire spin a little bit more, but obviously when you make it spin a little bit more, the gearing gets a lot shorter. Alright, let's pick it up pretty well on gear 2 and gear 3 as well. That's better. I want to hear that rotary screaming. That's a lot better. Oh shit, I lost the front then. Okay, that was the first time with that gear in, so I'm going to try again. And see what I can get out of this run. But it felt like I lost the front on that second corner then. But then that performed so nice then, and the transition was nice. That was <laughs> that was so much control. I don't know with this car. Uh, let's do another run. Because obviously that first run, maybe it was the gearing that I wasn't used to it or something. But Do you know what? That feels perfect. I <laughs> uh, don't think I need any more grip anywhere. Um, I suppose I could have a little bit less grip in the front. Um, let's just go tune and let's just take the tire pressure up. Just, just like let's go over one. Um, see if that makes a difference. I don't want the steering to come too loose, but I want it enough so it slides pretty nice. Yeah, let's try it. Oh shit, far too early. I don't know, it felt like the loose, um, the front was a little bit looser, it's a little bit more twitchy that time, so could do with going down again. Yeah, let's just do another run, see if I have to get used to it or something. But yeah, this car is feeling really nice to be honest. Yeah, the front's got to come, come down again. Just feels a little bit too twitchy in the front, so... If we make that go down again... Uh, we should, should sort that out. I know it's only gone up like one, like 1.0, but fuck, I didn't mean to go on photo mode. All right. If we take that down again, even like small changes on this game, they just make it a massive effect. Uh, gearing seems fine, stableness seems absolutely fine. Yeah, 
Yes. That was a nice run. That was pretty smooth. Well, it seemed smooth to me, but I'll have to watch that back to see how smooth it actually was. But that felt so nice. So let's do one more run. If I can't feel anything out of ordinary, I will end it here and just go with that tune. I'll show you the tune at the end of the episode, so no need to search back through my video looking for each setting. But yeah, that car is feeling very nice. I really like this car. Looks very nice murdered out as well. So yeah. Hope you guys check out this car. Leave a thumbs up if you like this uh, murdered out RX-7. It looks insane. <sighs> the stability is there. Uh, the power is there. Yeah. Okay. So here's the tyres. The gearing. Uh, the gearing is just shortened on the final drive. Alignment. Anti-roll bars. Springs. Damping. Aero brakes and the differential so if you want to copy any of those down just pause it in the video and just like full screen it and you'll be able to see all the like settings and stuff if you want to get the upgrades that'll be at the start of the video there's no need to show that again it's pretty simple uh, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh, leave a comment saying what car you want to see next episode um, obviously uh, there was a person who was second with a Ford Sierra and I don't know if there is actually a Ford Sierra on this game never really looked but I think there is, so if you want a Ford Sierra, if you see someone else comment Ford Sierra, thumbs up that comment, and yeah, I might be able to do it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.